Hey guys, welcome back to the channel that teaches you how to make Procreate brushes. I'm back for the new year with a version of a very popular brush on the channel, the Grungy Gothic Brush. It's a brush that gives you a messy crunch effect in the stroke that gives you a different effect to your black letter lettering. I'll teach you how to make the brush shape from scratch and what textures and settings to dial in so you can get creating. So, let's get started and make this brush. Start with a square canvas. I'm using a custom 3000 by 3000 one that I've created. Set the background color to pure black. And draw with pure white. Using the monoline brush, with the size at around 40%, draw a diagonal line from the bottom left to the top right, like this. Hold the stroke until it forms a straight line. Now go to the Adjustments button and choose Liquify. Tap on Pinch and with Size and Pressure at Max and Momentum at 20%, pinch your canvas and brush from the bottom left along the stroke until you have something that looks like this. Tap on the Move tool and center the shape. This is our brush shape, which we can copy by swiping down with three fingers and choosing Copy All. Tap on the Brush tool, choose the Brush Library, and tap on the plus sign to make a new brush. In Stroke Path, set Stroke Property Spacing to 5%. In Stabilization, set your preferred Streamline Settings. In Shape, tap Edit beside Shape Source, tap Import, then choose Paste. Tap Done twice to save your shape. Under Shape Behavior, set Count to 2. Let's add that grungy texture in the grain sidebar. Tap on Edit beside Grain Source, tap Import, then choose Source Library. From the selections, choose Wet Paper. Before saving, tap on the canvas to invert the values, then tap Done. Under Grain Behavior, set it to Texturized. Set Scale to 35% and Depth to Max. Then set Contrast to Max as well. In Dynamics, set Jitter Size to 25%. In Apple Pencil, let's give your strokes some size variation by setting Pressure Size to Max, and set Pressure Opacity to None. Finally, in Properties, make sure Orient to Screen is turned on. And that's it! Another potential favorite that you can use to add a bit more rock and roll to your gothic lettering. Looking forward to making more brushes for you this 2023, so keep those likes, comments, and subscriptions coming. Hoping to reach the goal of 5,000 subscribers by mid-year, so hope you can help me with that. Thank you for all the support, and until next brush, take care, and I'll see you then. Bye!